guys, it's Sam with 2 M, and welcome to this mix exclusive interview. As you guys can see, I have a very special guest here with me. He is a music producer and songwriter who is no stranger to mix. He's actually had a bunch of performances here at mix, but it's actually his first time here on mix exclusive with me. So everyone, please welcome Fern. <laughs> Hi, Fern. Hi, welcome. Welcome to um, exclusive. How have you been? How's life? Good. I mean, just at home, man. Nothing really like special. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just been quarantine. Yeah, yeah for sure. Not get COVID. Mm -mm. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's good. At least you're trying um, your best <laughs> to not get COVID and to stay healthy. Um, but of course, I'm sure you've been working on a lot of music during this time, I'm assuming. But aside from music, like what else have you been up to? Um, <laughs> Nothing really. <laughs> I've been working. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like most of my day is really consumed by like music or like just mm -hmm. watching like random stuff or mm -hmm. yeah, but I've been making a lot of um, songs for other artists. That's what I've been mm -hmm. doing. So yeah, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Yeah. Music, music is life. Yeah, yeah music is that. Music is life for Fern, guys. But that's cool. I mean, at least now you're still um, working on a lot of music, especially now because we have a lot of time now in quarantine and all yeah. of that. So how has that been for you, like, working on music, especially, like, nowadays with everything that's been going on? Because it's so easy also, for example, to get burnt out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's so many there's so many reasons for us to get burnt out. But for you, how has that been? Um, I guess, like, for me, it's been kind of like a smooth sailing thing because... Mm -hmm. I don't know, music, like, I, I keep saying music, but, like, yeah, music is, like, something that, it, it, it's super, it's it's super fun for me, like, mm -hmm. um, it's something that I'd do even if it wasn't, like, a career thing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of just, like, a game that I play every day. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. Well, I think he just lagged. For, okay, there. Are you back? Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. He just lagged for a bit, but, um, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, like, you're back. But yeah, that's cool. And now you said, uh, you know, it's kind of like a game that you play, even though you wouldn't, it wasn't your career or anything. It's still something that you would do. So like, what's your secret? Like if you had a secret to like keeping that whole like creativity thing going? I guess like for me, it's really just like having so much fun with it and like surrounding mm -hmm. myself with like artists and like minded mm -hmm. people. So yeah, yeah, I guess like we, we just share knowledge and like we exchange knowledge with each other and it remains mm -hmm because like there's always something new to like learn or like something yeah. new. Mm -hmm. yeah oh that's cool so it's like you get a lot from other people also and like from yeah. what i can tell i feel like music to you is something that's like you don't put a lot of pressure on yourself i feel like yeah. um, it feels like it's something that you find super fun but um now like i said there's so much time that we have and like you said you're also working with a lot of artists and you're trying out a lot of things too so recently what has been like the new thing or new things you've tried out with your music that you've been really excited about um i guess like the newest thing that i've been trying to do is kind of mm -hmm. switch the whole workflow mm -hmm. thing like i do i do a lot of weird stuff man like like i have a, I have a balance board over here now like every time i'm listening oh. to a mix, every time mm -hmm. i'm listening to a mix i'm just like balancing in this thing yeah <laughs> like it's not really anything music related like i bought a film camera that like Mm -hmm. I, I just use these like different small things to influence my music and that's what I've been trying to do lately. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. yeah. 
That's so cool. Like the whole balance board thing. I've always wanted to try those things. And yeah. lately, I feel like more people have been getting those like balance board things, yeah. which yeah, I think I've is super been, cool. I've been skating yeah. too. So it's like everyone's been mm. skating. Like, yeah, it's like a new thing, I guess. Yeah. I know, like, I feel like, I know, I feel like it's coming back. Like, I feel like skating is coming back again. Um, yeah. I, but that's really cool that people are finding hobbies again, especially during this time. And at least skating is like a socially distanced sport or hobby. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. I think, yeah, diba? I mean, but, uh, but yeah, that's cool. You've been looking and doing new things also um, to keep creative and like inspired and all of that um but speaking of you do have a new single out which is whatever this is so let's talk more about um whatever this is so could you tell us more about what the song is about and like what inspired it um yeah the song is it's kind of just like real life experiences i guess that, mm -hmm, that it's, mm -hmm. that song. it's um i mean not to get like super cheesy but yeah you know, <laughs> Oh no, for you lagged again. Did Hello? I lag again? There, okay, now you're back. You were saying. Okay, sorry. We, we lagged a lot out here. <laughs> it's um, okay. But yeah, I think, um, yeah, whatever this is, is kind of like talking about how relationships and in general, like whether it's romantic or like friendship wise, like it's, it's mm -hmm. super tricky, especially for mm -hmm. people who are like very introverted. It's hella tricky. So. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, sometimes it's just like I don't even know what this is, but like I'm talking to mm -hmm. a person, so it's like whatever. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Oh, I know that. I know that feeling. Like, yeah. you know, and you also kind of <laughs> don't want to talk about it. You know what yeah. I mean? You're just like, then it's awkward when you do. So it's yeah. just like, yeah, like, man, like just go with the flow. Yeah, and I feel like a lot of us um, have gone through that. That I got like that's something that really happens. Like, like people don't want to talk about it; they just want to enjoy whatever's <laughs> happening. They don't want to ruin anything that's happening. So, yeah. So I feel like a lot of people can relate to the song, definitely. But um, what was it like actually working on the song? And um, what are the things that you did for this one that were kind of new, I guess, or like something that you wanted to try out that you did for this one? Well, this is the first song that I recorded in my studio. Um, mm -hmm. I I run a production company called mm -hmm. Kid. Mm -hmm. So I recently just like um, put up a studio in Shaw, and this was the first mm -hmm. song I recorded there. So yeah, so wild. So, Thank you. Yeah, that's wild. I mean, that's so cool. Congratulations on that. Yeah. Of course, I saw your Instagram post of um, the place. Yeah, thank, um, thank you. Yeah, so that's super cool. And now you're able to share your music with all of us. So um, how exciting is it to be like, you know, having your own place also to record music and to produce? How has that been for you? It's it's super fun, man. Like, I mean, yeah. I've had a bunch of artists just come through and like jam. Mm -hmm. And it's it's cool, like when people just come together. Like I I love the artists that go there. Like recently we had um, like Jason there and like, mm -hmm that guy's music is super cool and we got to listen to his new stuff and it's just like mm -hmm. a vibe going on in the studio mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like a community so i thought I, yeah I, 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 yeah it's okay it's <laughs> fine no, it's fine. fine don't worry about it it's totally fine it's the internet we can do stuff like that but um yeah i got i got what you mean like it's more of like really the vibe instead of like kind of like just work it's like also the community yeah, and the vibe that you build around that. But going back to actually whatever this is, which is like this is the first song that you um, put out that you recorded in your studio. Um, there's also a music video. So could you tell us more about the music video um, for this one? Um, yeah, the music video for this was actually, actually everything I do um, mm -hmm. for cover art, the like videos. Mm -hmm. Hello. So, oh, you dropped music. out again. Sorry, you lagged again. Sorry. Okay, go again. <laughs> it's kind of just a trademark now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess with the videos, it's it's super different when you do things creatively with friends. Yeah. So, um, I guess with with whatever this is, we kind of like approach it differently in a way that you know, like let's not make it too professional. There was no real marketing like aspect to it like just went mm -hmm. on there and then made a video mm -hmm. put it out there yeah so you just like made it with your friends yeah man like the director mm -hmm. we're all like close homies like i mean mm -hmm. we just spend a lot of time together 
So. I love that. So what was it like, like actually, because the, the video, I mean, it was really cool too, like um, visual wise and also like just the whole, yeah, like visually, it was really, really good too for the song as well. So what was it like actually creating it with your friends? Like you said, it's a little bit different from the usual. Um, so how was that like? Like, let us know, like, what was the experience like? It was super fun. Like, I mean, one day was shooting like we shot for at least a day and then the rest mm -hmm. of the, the rest of the night we just kind of like cooled down and like drank and stuff like that mm -hmm. which feels very natural you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah. yeah just human yeah. beings yeah <laughs> i feel like yeah i mean like well the video itself it felt very like nostalgic for some reason like even though it was like made in this year you know what i mean like it was uh very nostalgic it reminded me of like old like 90s like skate movies like their their yeah. movies like that so that's exactly like what it felt like so it was really cool being able to see that from you and what was it like for you and your friends to actually see the music video when it was done and like <laughs> seeing you guys like you know just like vibing and all that well i got a lot of like uh, my friends just made a lot of fun of like the video like oh, like, really? of like one part there like they were just like screenshotting it and like sending it to me and they were like which one because like there was like a kissing thing there <laughs> but <laughs> sure yeah yeah they just like, screenshot it and be like oh for like mm. lol, lol. Like, it's, <laughs> like it's whatever i guess yeah i mean mm. i mean that's what friends are for i guess it's like, um, the biggest shit on your friends like i mean yeah if it comes from your that's friend true. it's just so bad yeah. And you know it's real when they make fun yeah. of you. So, oh, yeah. so you know they're your real friends. So I'm sure they're also really like excited to see this music video from you. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sure more people are also excited to see stuff that you've been working on. So what else can we expect coming from you, Fern? Like I'm sure you've been working on a lot of different things for your music, but also for other artists. So what can we expect coming from you? But I think I lagged again. I did not hear any of that. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think you lagged. It's okay. No, no it's fine. It's fine. So well, I just asked, um, what else can we expect coming from you, Fern? I'm sure a lot of people are excited for everything that you've been working on. Like you said, you've been working on your music, but also music with other artists too. So yeah. what can we expect coming from you? Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, imagine if I just <laughs> messed with you and made you repeat it for no reason. It's but, okay. Like, <laughs> I would do it. Um, um, I guess... Okay, what's next what's next um <laughs> album, yeah, i have an album coming up and mm -hmm. oh. i also have a bunch of um khaki um khaki has an ep that's coming out this friday mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. we produced like me and my friends produced that whole thing mm -hmm. so i guess for the future like that's what's coming out like a bunch of the stuff my friends and i are making and um yeah my album and i hope you know that that does me well, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Oh my God. So that's super exciting. Um, your album coming out. Um, mm -hmm. So how have you been working on your album? Like, um, what can we expect coming from your album? Dude, it's crazy, man. Like, make it, <laughs> <laughs> my friends know like how much like work I put into it and like how mm -hmm. I don't want to make any more music after the album for a good while. What? Just, Why? Like, it's so draining, man. Like. Mm -mm. I don't even know, like it's yeah. I don't even know where my head's at at this point. But mm -hmm. after after releasing that album, I'm sure like I'll probably stop for like a good year. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's so taxing. I feel, yeah. I can imagine. I mean, that's a lot to do, obviously, like a whole album. <laughs> but yeah, but you never know. Like you maybe you're saying that now, but after it's done, you'll be like, Okay, let's go. I'm ready to go again. You oh, never that, know. If, if the yeah. money is great, then I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. but I'm sure people are excited for this album too because the last um, album you put out or like the super uh, no, like project like 2019 if I'm not mistaken like a whole album um, Loveless so how excited are you like I can imagine since you said super taxing as so far and to have it released soon how does it feel that you know it's coming soon yeah um, well I mean like first of all I guess it's it's kind of like it's it's a lot of anxiety. Like I'm sure a lot yeah. of artists like mm -mm. they get that. Like I mean, everyone gets that. Like when you're doing mm -hmm. something good for yourself and something like out of your shell, it's mm -hmm. super super like 
you know, you, I'm so nervous for it. And, <laughs> but I mean, I guess, I guess it's only like that because that's how important it is to me. Yeah. And you know, sure. as a musician and as an artist, like it's kind of like putting. Oh no, for like, you lagged again. Master. Oh damn! Like I was, I was in a straight up monologue. I know. I was feeling it. <laughs> I, yeah. I heard. I you lagged after as an artist. That's okay, as after. an artist. I was, I was saying. <laughs> nah, I'm sorry, but yeah, as an artist, it's kind of like a huge thing to like put out something because it's kind mm -hmm. of like sharing your feelings. Yeah. That, like so much people, mm -hmm. like there could be millions of people listening to this. Like mm -hmm. I don't know. So yeah. Like, for sure. And I I can feel, I feel like you're the type, like, you know, like, like this, for example, whatever this is, is, you know, also something that a lot of people go through. So it's a very, like, personal experience, right? So as an artist, like you said, you share these things with people. So how do you kind of, like, wrap your head around getting personal and sharing it with random people and strangers, like, you don't even know? So how does that feel? Um, I mean, good and bad, depending on mm -hmm. what I like, I mean, no, depending on what they say about it. I mean, mm -hmm. it's more of like a lot of people can say, like, oh, you're too cheesy or like this is whack. But mm -hmm. the other side of things is like people can also say that, like, I've gotten like comments like saying, like, I saved their lives or something like that, which is like so crazy. Like, right? Like, that's that's so crazy to me. So it's, I guess, like, it's, it's a matter of perspective. Like, which ones do you want to look at? Like, people will always have something to say about your art. And I'd rather look at, you know, the people that appreciate it for what it is. That's so true. I can imagine that's super tripping out for you to see someone be like, oh, your music saved me. Like, oh, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like, who would have thought the Banaparang? Something that's so personal to you could save someone else. Yeah, I saved your life. Like, now treat me to lunch yeah. or something. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> <Got me> on. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean... I feel like that's the that's the great thing or like that's one of the great things about being an artist, you know, like you put yourself out there, you never really know how people are gonna respond to it, but you see people like that who are like, Yeah, you saved me. So I'm sure a lot of people are excited for the album that's coming soon and I'm pretty sure we lagged again. Yeah, yeah um, it's a all little good. bit. It's, 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 yeah, it's, it's all kind, good. Okay. It's kind of weird yeah. This dude. yeah. I'm so excited the, for the lag. No, don't worry about it. I'm super used to it. It's totally fine. This is the Philippines, and our Wi-Fi is not that great. We have Wi-Fi supported, dude. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. But um, yeah, so a lot of people are excited for the album. Um, also, you said that Kaki's album or Kaki's Kaki has an album coming soon. An EP, an EP. An EP. There, she has an EP coming. So, how is that working with her on her EP? Like the whole thing. Um. Yes. I mean, she would know. Like, it was so stressful, man. But yeah, <laughs> I guess, like, it's it's like a fulfilling thing to hear it like go out this Friday. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. this Friday. I'm not sure, but yeah, yeah. yeah so that's soon. Mm -hmm. Also, so people can look forward to that too. But I'm also curious, um, for and like you've been working on a lot of music too, and you're someone who's very hands on now with the music that you make. So how do you know, like, when something is already done, like? Because, you know, you can always, like, add the stuff, right? You know what I mean? Like, you can always change stuff. You can always switch it up. But how do you finish something? Like, how do you know it's done already? You don't want to touch it anymore. The thing is, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the sad part. Like, I, I so, like, struggle with that. Like, mm -hmm. I, that's, the, that's, like, the worst part of making music. Like, when do I actually know it's done, right? Like, yeah. when I yeah. add so much little things, like, I can add, like, a note there like mm -hmm. a piano, or like i can remove a drum sound like there's just so much things and if you're like a perfectionist it'll never be done yeah so, that's why i guess it's kind of just like i i still don't know like usually i'm just like my friends tell me like stop working on it or um my mom dude sometimes my mom is like that's nice and i'm like okay it's nice <laughs> that's it she spoke yeah. then yeah, I mean, yeah. I still don't know how and like how to tell if a song's done. Like I struggle mm -hmm. with that until now. Yeah, well, which is I feel like a good thing also, but can also be like like you said, it's a hassle. Like you don't know when to when to stop, but it's also a good thing because you can always keep adding stuff. So like, good luck, Fern, um, with <laughs> everything. <laughs>
<laughs> that you know goes on in your um, creative mind. But people are super excited for um, your album, like that what you just mentioned a while ago. And of course, they're super happy with whatever this is. And a lot of people have been listening to it, watching the music video too. But before I let you go, friend, do you have a message to everyone who's been listening to your music and supporting your music? Um, damn. Oh wow, I'm I'm going solo on this. Okay. Um I guess it's yeah, I, I would like to like be I'm I am grateful for everyone that listens to my stuff and I would like to thank you all of you guys because you guys are basically the reason why I get to do what I do. So yeah, and that's that's it. Um I hope you guys like what I'm gonna come out with. And yeah. I'm sorry for my internet. Yeah, so it's okay. We are super, I know, it's totally fine. I still enjoyed our chat today, even though there was like a little bit of a lag. That's totally fine. <laughs> we're super excited for everything that you have planned and all of your releases too. And we can't wait for the time for your album to come. But for now, we're all going to save for um, your newest single, which is Whatever This Is. So guys, to everyone watching, make sure to stream Fern's newest single, which is Whatever This Is, on multiple digital streaming platforms. And watch the music video. It's up on YouTube. And you guys can check that out as well. So once again, thank you so much, Fern, for joining me today. Thank you, thank you. And thank you to everyone who tuned into this exclusive interview. Once again, this has been Sam with 2 Ms and Fern. Bye, guys.